Now we're going to show you how to run Nintendo DS games on your PC. And basically, all you got to do is just download the emulator and your ROM. You have to own the ROM though for the game to get the ROM for it to be legal, which I'm a big supporter of. So, yeah. Okay. So basically download your emulator and then download your ROM. I have the ROM right here. And the emulator is in my emulator folder. Which is right there. And let's extract this real quick. Alright. So, then basically all you have to do is launch the .exe file. And then you basically want to find your DS ROM, which should be my desktop under my emulators folder. It's right there. And we'll open it. You might get an error though, which we didn't surprisingly. This one you can't play full screen, unfortunately, but yeah. As you see, it's running extremely slow to fix that. I'm just gonna hit. F11 on my keyboard, and this will pop up. We're gonna switch this to 16.78 right there. Hit OK, and then it should start running a little bit faster, which it is going up. And then I'm gonna reset the cartridge now that I fix it. Yeah, it's running pretty fast now. Yeah, 16 or 7 and then you can also add in some sound. Okay. Everything looks good here. basically have to run but there's also a newer one out now so this is sort of like the slow version I should actually go ahead and open the new one which is right up here I'll just open that up and then here we go never ran this game on here, this one seems pretty slow. Other games are on faster. There we go. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just gonna record room or really anywhere. Data is corrupt. That's because I haven't saved the game yet. Okay, we'll just try one out. Actually, game seems like it's running fine. Yeah, just the menu took a little while to load. Where is he? Oh my god. Yep, so it looks like it's going fine. So just basically use your mouse click, then you can switch your controls under options, control setup. Everything's under here. So, yeah. There is also a way to make it actually run on your DS. Fine. To download the ROM and on there. This way, if you have a member stick, you can put like Let's say you own like 15 games. You don't take them all with you, just put them on one memory card and they'll run. But uh, I'll make a tour for that later once I get enough money and actually buy that. But yeah, it's not too bad. You just have to know a little bit on the homebrew world and you'll be fine. So that's pretty much it.